Hello guys, Brick Armory here with another gun. This time it's an AR-15, customized, heavy customized AR-15. It starts out with a seven and a half inch barrel uh, with the pistol length gas tube. Uh, with on top of that we we got the embers flip up sides by Macpool with a Trichicon RMR on a LaRue tactical mount with lightning cuts so it's lighter uh, then we have the Blackwood side charging upper receiver and by Dexterous so the charging handle can be moved to the other side uh, what's special about this upper receiver is normally you would have a charging handle right here on the AR-15 or M4 platform but it's a, not a convenient pl uh, place so Blackwood decided to design uh, an upper receiver where you can have a side charging uh, bolt like uh, the FNFL or uh, SCAR or what they're more weapons with a side charging handle um, it's also got a CCS stock on it that stands for combat of a car close carbine stock something like that I forgot the name I'll put it in the description so you can look it up uh, with a standard pistol grip and um, a customized AR-15 lower with a high cut magwell for easier inserts uh, ambi mag release like that so it's a uh, ambidextrous bolt get the, the mag release on both sides and an ambi charging handle by Troy there is on both both sides and an ambi bolt uh, catch bolt release on both sides I'll show you uh, the functions in about a, in about a second and yeah, I choose to make it like this because there are many M4 platforms or Air 15s built in a standard way and I uh, thought let's make a highly customized version of it. It's actually a pretty small PTW. Uh, I think this would be ideal, ideal for uh, some concealed carry missions for like the CSI or, uh, or CIA or uh, other people that need concealed concealed uh, assault rifles. This only has uh, two functions. It's only single single fire or safe. I don't uh, don't make the full auto version for it. You can see the bolt is in the most rear position, and when I pr press the lever on the other side, the bolt will drop. To the forward position like that. I'll charge it again. Um, I don't know if I can reach it. Yes. And now when I press it again, the bolt will drop. Pretty hard to press like that. As you can see. Okay, so now I've switched the bolt to the uh, the charging handle to the other side, and you can see the charge the bolt catch. Or the bolt release is this button right here. Uh, when I push it, the bolt will go forward, as you can see. Also, this is the normal mag release, and the M, the audio mag release is on the other side. This gun also features a fully functional uh, fire control with a working hammer, working safety, working trigger, and I'll show you the inside. Okay, so now now it's on safe, and uh, the that red pin uh, blocks the trigger, and it won't you won't be able to push it in. Uh, you can you can push it through the safety, but yeah, it works as you can see. And when you pull the trigger, the hammer goes back, uh, the hammer goes up, and the bolt will go forward, or the hammer. And as you can see, it, re it resets itself. And the stock is extendable. It's uh, 
like an MP5 stock. It has this small lever underneath it. And when you press it in, you can. Glass it. Or if you want to take it off, just press it in and push it all the way out. And you can take it off. Mag release, I said, as I said before, it's uh, ambidextrous. So it's functional from both sides, left and right. Um, now I push it from the left hand side, right there. And as you can see, when I push it in, the locking mechanism goes flush with res the with receiver. And you see the other mag release move in. Well, the MB bolt catch works pretty similar and pretty easy. It's just a cross bar that uh, works on either side. Pretty easy. Of course. The whole gun is field strippable, and you see the uh, mag magazine right here, 30 round magazine, low receiver, upper receiver with barrel and gas rod, tri industries uh, rail in the front, um, mag pool, ambush sides, Trichicon RMR, uh, the stock, the bolt, and the pins. And now enjoy the the shots that I made.